Hey everybody, Sheep here. I just wanted to talk about why the video that you're about to see isn't as good as the other videos on my channel. Uh, this is the first episode in a series I start on my stream called Murder Mystery Chat, where I sit down and talk about some of the more serious stuff that I kind of try to shy away from in my normal stream content. I just wanted to have this video uploaded just to make sure that I have it archived in case uh, I want to look back on it for whatever reason. Thanks again for supporting and enjoying my content, and I'll see you all later. Peace. It's me, Sheepo03. Hmm. Honestly, I could I could rant about hours about uh how much like college is fucking me right now, but I'm just not because that's not a very interesting. It's crazy that I'm even streaming this long. Like I should have I should have stopped streaming an hour ago and worked on college stuff, but I just said fuck it. <laughs> I'm such a bad student. I'm gonna get fucking bees in all my classes. It's gonna be crazy. Uh, understand that getting bees for me, that's like a, that's something I haven't really done before, all right? Like all throughout my entire academic career, I've been, I kill A's. I kill A's. Like bees for me, bees is not a great grade for me, man. A is like, A has been my average for like high school, for all my, all my schooling experience. What's your opinion on stands like yourself? <laughs> Um, I think standing is generally an unhealthy way. Um, I think there are certain cases where standing would be, I know, justified. I think a lot of people, I think, I think a lot of people just see stands like automatically bad, but I feel like there's a reason why people stand and it's not because it's, it, it's not entirely their fault. I think people that stand lack the social skills or like the social upbringing to really make it. Yeah, a fan is just somebody who supports the creator. Stan is like people who who make that who make that creator part of that part of their identity you know a stand is somebody who makes the creator part of their identity like if you couldn't separate this person without that creator they are like they are that that is their identity like and it's not their fault you know they are i feel like they they're just stuck in very unhealthy situations and the way that they cope with this is just standing is to make is to put their personality into you know somebody else it's not a healthy thing to do, and I think these people should work on it and get help and work on work with themselves, get a therapist, get somebody that can help them. But it's not entirely their fault. This is standing is literally just a coping mechanism usually. I don't like. I'm never a fan of villainizing anything or anybody. You usually, I think villainizing it just usually hurts the cause or the idea more than it helps. So I try not to villainize stands. I just uh, I don't know. I just want to you know see them improve you know that's basically it i feel like stands and like incels come from the same breed you know they're just different ways of coping with you know problem upbringings or problem childhoods or problem situations where they feel like they have no control all right there these are all coping me mechanisms that people use to help themselves stands equal incels it's not i'm not saying that stands and insults are the same thing i'm just saying that they come from the same like they're I feel like they're they're both ways of just coping with the same problems They're they're just two different ways of coping with the same problems. What do you think of minecraft speedrunning? I think it's really cool I think it's really nice because it's another part of the com of the minecraft community that I think is really exciting and really fun And like you can see it nowadays like so many of the of no so many of the bigger streamers are getting into speedrunning And that's just really exciting because it just brings more eyes onto minecraft as a whole and it's just like like I feel like mine like speedrunning in a way kind of revitalized part of that community where now you the like Minecraft speedrunning is like if you're a Minecraft speedrunner you're a highly highly respected person in the community and so you know speedrunning is great I love it I think it's really fun to watch I think it's really fun to do and I I just like as more and more of these big streamers continue to Minecraft speedrun I think it's just funner and funner you know like you have people like XQC and Forza speedrunning minecraft and it's insane i think it's super cool and exciting i think school is just super boring most of the time sometimes interesting shit happens in school that i want to talk about but the problem with you know covid and like being a streamer all along is that not a lot of interesting stuff happens like look at me look at me i could be out there like doing a club or talking with somebody but no i'm in my room streaming to seven people who probably would get over me if I decided to suddenly leave the platform, they, they probably would like cry for like a week and then move on. What what am I doing with my life? This is this is why my family thinks I'm a fucking crazy motherfucker. 
This is why. I, I wonder why, you know, my family looks at me differently nowadays. Because I'm not big enough for people to really give a shit. There are unhealthy things about Twitch and really healthy things about Twitch. Like, for example, like, I feel like I'm doing something. I feel like this is a very creative way to, you know, do something with my life. And I very I enjoyed it a whole lot. But at the same time, like, you know, my life becomes a whole lot about, like, you know, numbers. Twi Twitch for me isn't really about making friends. I'm n I don't do this for friends. I don't need, you know, Twitch's help to make friends. I'm a very, I'm already a social person. I did this because it was a creative outlet. My college classes are usually very uncreative. I never expected to stream. I always had it in the back of my mind, like, oh, I think I could do this. I think it could be pretty funny. But now it's like, I love streaming so much that it's like, okay, I don't expect to stop doing this and any anytime soon. Like, this is just going to be like a part of my life for the next, uh, foresee for the foreseeable future. It's not that I like playing games and making friends, it's just I like entertaining people. I like being entertaining. Uh, when, when am I gonna stop streaming? If you're talking like streaming long term, I don't think I'm gonna stop anytime soon. I mean, I think a lot of people have experienced like burnout, but I'm just not at all. The pro like the thing with streaming is that there are so many bad days that I have with streaming. And it's just because I have a small audience. And so when I only have four people, it just makes the stream that much. It doesn't make the stream that exciting when you only have like four people in chat. It's not fun because I'm just forcing myself to play games that I don't want to play at that point. But when you have the good days, when you have the days where the chat's popping, when we're making jokes, when everything's fun, that's like, that's when it changes. And I think that those good days, like I get like one good day, like every two weeks, every one, one really good day every two weeks. But those days, they just make up for it because there's just nothing like streaming when like everybody's hype and everybody's excited and everybody's going, and everybody's having fun. There's just nothing like it. And I'm excited to get bigger and in, like as I get bigger to slowly diversify my content. And that's what I'm excited for because I can't just keep streaming Hypixel forever. Just as I get bigger, I'm going to get more confident and I'm going to start diversifying my content, doing more shit, having more fun. And like, like I said, that's the thing. As the more I keep streaming, the more good days I have. And that's why I keep doing it. Because like there are like there are two days a week where all I want to do is shut off the stream, press that stop stream button. But I say, fuck it. You know what? Their good days are going to be coming. They're just around the corner. And you know what? Today was one of those good days where you just have fun. All right. And I'm just having fun.